e-commerce for WordPress is designed to adapt to your unique needs. So let's talk about some of the ways you can extend and customize the plugin. First, let's talk about hooks. There are more than 100 hooks you can use to modify BigCommerce for WordPress. If you're unfamiliar with hooks in WordPress, there are two types, action hooks and filter hooks. Actions allow you to execute your own code the moment the hook is called. You could use an action hook to trigger new behavior or output new content. Filters allow you to modify the original data being passed to the hook. For example, you could change the content for a template before it's rendered. Every hook in BigCommerce for WordPress is prefixed with BigCommerce and a forward slash. You'll find these all throughout the plugin's code base. Next, let's talk about APIs. BigCommerce for WordPress creates several REST endpoints that map requests to the BigCommerce API. This allows you to build extensions without hitting any cross-origin restrictions. These endpoints are at wp-json slash bc slash v3 and correspond to the endpoints documented in the API reference. For example, a request to wp-json slash bc slash v3 slash catalog slash products will return the exact same data as a request to this route at api.bigcommerce.com. Finally, let's talk about custom templates. All of the template files in BigCommerce can be overridden. The custom child templates should be added to a theme rather than a plugin, because themes are responsible for templating and presentation, whereas plugins are responsible for functionality. Check out our other videos to learn how to make the most of BigCommerce for WordPress and further customize it to suit your needs.